Hey guys, Frank Lazace here. Wanted to show you a little issue I was having. The extruder was uh, kind of getting stuck and wasn't pushing the filament through. So I you know, went through and cleaned everything and uh, still having issues. And when I was looking closely at it, I found that when I was, was trying to retract, it really wasn't doing a good job in many cases for that. And now it was causing the filament not to, to be pushing through. But what I found was there's a little, I think it's called a set screw. And I, maybe we can see it. I'll have some, try to have some still photos right there. And that came loose. So what I had found was that when it was trying to load filament, the stepper motor would spin or occasionally it would grab and work. But uh, more than often than not, it wouldn't. So that's what I found. And I'm going to go and tighten that little screw there up and see if... Uh, it's hard to see in there, even with all the light. There we go. And then I tighten that little guy up, which is going to make that gear turn, and that should help drive the extruder more. So, hope that helps if you've been having this problem too. And then putting this back together, um, how I originally noticed this was this little screw here. I was able to push this in here, and uh, I was able to push filament in and out uh, of here, and uh, this was rotating and it shouldn't have rotated when I had the stepper motor and this, these gears were engaged properly in which they were. So that led me to, lead, to look at the, uh, the set screw that was hidden inside of there. So, all right, I'll uh, see how this goes when we get it hooked up and do some printing. Okay, so I'm gonna try uh, putting some filament in for the first time since I tightened that idle roller screw and uh, see how it goes. Hopefully it's gonna ask me to load some filament in. Yes, okay, it's gonna have to heat up, but I'm gonna put some PLA in. Well, that's nice, we're already up next to the top there, so got that funny sound. And I'm gonna uh, pause it here for just a second until it heats up. Okay, it's uh, heated up now, so I'm gonna hit the continue. I'm gonna actually gonna push the filament up, up through there, make sure it's uh, getting all the way up into the extruder there. Okay, I can feel it touching there. I'm gonna hit the continue button and I'll press or push the filament in just a little bit. All right. I can feel it grabbing. Point it in there, and there it is coming through. And hit the other side. Excellent. Uh, that sounds better than it has sounded in a long time, I gotta tell you. That sounded like a well oiled machine. Well, I got some purple filament coming out. That's the proof cement that it came with it. And there's the yellow from Amazon Basics I got coming out there now. I'm gonna. Uh, the correct no I'm gonna go ahead and uh, extrude a little bit more Ooh, look at that little beauty there all right this looks like it's doing what it's supposed to be doing so I'm gonna try doing some prints and see how it goes but uh, yeah so tightening that idler screw uh, at least for the moment has made all the difference we'll see how a, a full-on print goes and uh, see what happens well so far so good look at a nice smooth sheet there we'll see what this Hard to keep it in focus, obviously, with it moving back and forth, but uh, see, nice and smooth. Like the one I've seen so far, I haven't heard any clicking or any additional noises from the extruder, so that was a plus there. It's uh, just operating all nice and smoothly. So, so I'm gonna take a look at that sheet. I may have to adjust the, uh, <clears throat> the first layer just a little bit uh, to see if uh, that changed anything, but uh, yeah, things were looking much better.